Hey, how's it going? Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you a little update. Of, you know, we had all them cabinets set out here, and we, and we kind of talked about how we were going to uh, applicate them. And uh, we've got all this first bit of them set now, see? Uh, they're all tied in there. They're all anchored to the wall. If you'll notice, they don't go all the way down to the floor in a lot of places because we've shimmed them, you know, to make sure that they stay real good and level and plumb, okay? If you'll notice, like this will end up being a countertop across here, but you'll notice how it touches all the way down through there. And you gotta have that so that your cabinet ain't up and down and such. You don't wanna sit your, you know, uh, something, a pill here or something and have it roll all the way down into your sink. So everything's gotta be left on the plumb. Uh, if you'll, I don't know if you can see, but we've got, we've got screws all in here. It's tying all them back to the wall. And that's what I'm talking about. You gotta be real careful that you make sure that you're hitting where your studs are. How, how hollow that sounds. You gotta make sure you're hitting where your studs are. Once you find one, it's easy because you know that they're over 16 inches. So, but you gotta make sure you find that first one and, and that your layout on your framing was right because you got all this, let's, let me just tell you, like there are certain sizes that you have to have, okay? This is where the dishwasher's gonna go. Boom, it slides in there. I'm still got to drill a hole there, but your, your electricity ties in over here and then comes off the hot water. Uh, it's got to be 24 inches. This is where your stove's going to go. If it's a standard size stove, you always have to have 30 inches in there so you can get your stove slide back in there. And there's not a lot of clearance, so you have to make sure that that's right. You don't have but a quarter inch to get it in there. This is where the refrigerator will go, 36 inches. It might be 33 inches, you have to check. If you, have, if you get a, the big model of refrigerators, though, they're gonna be 36 inches. If, and then always remember to check your height of them and make sure that the cabinet up here will allow that to go back. It's better for it to be a little bit uh, loose up here so that you get, you get a good airflow around your, your refrigerator and such. But we've got all these tied together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably hand paint these keep from having to worry about the spray out here for right now. We'll paint all the faces of them. You'll notice we've taken all the doors off. We'll take the doors out and we'll actually spray them and get a real good finish on them. Uh, and then when we come and bring them back, put our doors on and we'll put a gloss acrylic coat on there that'll protect the paint and such. And But when we do that, we will have to mask this off. Uh, so that we don't get overspray because this paint right here, ceiling, walls, is finished. These floors, they don't have their sealer on them yet, but they're actually gonna be a finished product too, so you really gotta be cognizant of your overspray when you're spraying these things. You don't wanna end it with your wall and then you make a big cycle of, well, I gotta paint the wall, and then you paint your wall, and then you get it on your cabinet, and you gotta paint your cabinet, you know, so you gotta be real careful on that. What we're going to do here is it looks kind of dinky, doesn't it? Well, this is a standard high ceiling I can touch the top of. It's eight foot. So these are a little bit oversized rooms. They're nine foot. And what we decided to do, instead of having to build all the special cabinet, we're just going to put a roll of uh, two footers up on top of all this. It'll give us extra storage up along there. And also, we'll take and we'll wrap that with crown molding, and it'll look like them cabinets just grew in there. You, you notice how th this is the type of, uh, you know, like pre-thought that you have to give it when you, you're ordering these cabinets. You want this thing to be centered up on, on your, your uh, uh, like, openings for your windows and such. You got to make sure that you got that window. When I framed this, I had to frame this and with this in mind of where this cabinet was going to end up so that my sink would be lined up with the middle of this. So, you know, one thing kind of builds on, on another in construction. So, 
if you do it right, you know, you're, you're thinking about these things as you're putting your, your, through the process and you'll end up that, with a real fine finished product quality, right? Four quality controls of construction. Is it level? Is it plumb? Is it square? And is it true? You can nail all them and put the thought into it, you'll end up with a good product, man, you'll be able to make some money. That's all.